Rockwood 8325 SS Ultralight here at Halid RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Signature Ultralight, actually. This is the top level Rockwood travel trailer. Rockwood being the number one selling lightweight for many consecutive years now. So the, really the question begs with more lightweight options now than ever before, why are more people turning to Rockwood? That's kind of what I want to hit on in this video. Now real quick, I also want to give you a quick verbal disclaimer here. Um, there are a lot of options and upgrades on this one. Like for instance, the diamond package that we're looking at gives us the full body color package and about 10 other things that are non-standard equipment. You may see things that are optional on this or uh, different fabric color schemes that are not on every single 8325 Rockwood. Um, you know, this video is here to show you how this is laid out and the advantages of going Rockwood, not necessarily show you your exact trailer. So let's start, uh, well hey, let's start right here. First of all, gigantic power awning. Let me get us out of the sun a little bit here. So you have a very, very generous sized power awning, which is nice because most travel trailers with a door side slide, especially in lightweights, have very short awnings. That Usually that slide out gets in the way of the awning, but Rockwood moved the front arm of this awning all the way up to the nose as far as they could to give you maximum possible awning coverage. Um, it is worth noting too, let me kick this on for you. You see that this has uh, the awning strip mounted in a C-channel right here at the base of the awning and the C-channel is there uh, to keep it in place. A lot of manufacturers glue it to the side but you start getting uh, you know, a hard plastic channel like that or just the light strip itself directly glued to the side of a fiberglass skin, expose it to sunlight and it's going to peel off. Rockwood doesn't like that. Um, when you get the outdoor grill with a Rockwood, you see here that it comes with its own, the grill's in the box by the way. The, uh, uh, the grill comes with this little resin table. Now what's really cool is it's not wood. It's a molded resin. It can't rot, mold, mildew. It can't swell if it's left outside in the rain. Now what's neat is you see this extended awning or extended mounting rail here. You could put the grill on the left, the table on the right. If you're a right-handed person, that'll let you flip the grill or uh, flip a burger and then set the uh, spatula over here. If you're left-handed though, you can flip it. And notice, you're well under the awning cover and it's right next to the door. It's a nice way to cook without putting a lot of extra heat in your RV. Diamond package has given us the full taupe uh, skin color or milk chocolate, whatever you want to call it. And they lightened that up a little bit this year, which is nice, just to help with a little bit of heat issues. It's going to work really well in the sunlight, but still look good. Diamond package gives us frameless windows, which look amazing. They keep the seal under the window pane out of the weather. When uh, the, the living room TV is standard with a Rockwood signature, it's a big 32 or 40 inch, I can't remember which offhand. When you add the bedroom TV, that's what we're looking at here. It's designed to move inside or outside. You'll find a matching bracket. It just slides right in and right out. Very easy to operate. We like to upgrade these. Have power awning, power tongue jack, power stabilizer jacks, and that's what this button is right here. You have one button for the front pair, one button for the rear pair. Everything's push button simple. Camping's supposed to be fun. This will let you spend more time enjoying your campsite, less time setting up. These are solar prepped, so if you want to keep your battery topped off, it's easy to do. Now, very few manufacturers, period, especially in the lightweight market, are giving you front windows. You see, Rockwood still does that, and you're getting a front cap with a window, which is even more uncommon. Lightweight trailers usually don't have 30 pound propane tanks, they usually have 20, so this is going to give you 50% more time between fill ups. Um, you'll see things too, like a lot of light, I mean, power tongue jacks, power awnings, these things are like candy nowadays in RVs. Virtually everyone says, I have a power awning or I have a power tongue jack. But did you know there's different grades to the motors in those appliances? Rockwood uses a higher grade motor, it moves faster, it's stronger, it lasts longer, it's less likely to wear out. It's no different than if you have a V8 truck and a, and a four cylinder, the V8 is going to last longer because it doesn't have to overwork itself. Now, part of the diamond package are these really cool slam latch baggage doors that you see right there, just like you'd have on a bus. But notice too, it has a magnetic hold back. You don't have that little plastic clip, so you can operate this easily with one arm. It stays up, out of the way, and you don't have to worry about uh, you know trying to juggle a door on your head or those little cheap plastic black clips that break down on you. Um, outside shower is not uncommon nowadays in RVs, but it is something very nice because without that, you have to bring along extra hoses and a Y splitter to feed right off of your uh, inlet line. And even then, you only get cold water, you don't get hot water. 
when you see big windows like this, this is another one of those options. This is the atrium windows that surround a freestanding dining table. And that is going to give us just a massive uh, viewing space here from the, uh, um, you know, your, your uh, living room. That'll give you really scenic views and let in a lot of light. What's nice, you see how dark tinted these windows are? It's like automotive tint. You can still see out, but even without the shades drawn, people really can't see in unless they're being super nosy. And at that point, you're going to see them right away. Um, these are pre prepped for a Furion backup camera system. That's what this little black box is up here under the taillights. Uh, so if you do want to add one of those wireless backup cameras, if you are generally backing in or setting up alone, it's really nice to make sure you're not going to bump a tree or anything. Construction's a huge difference on a Rockwood. A lot of lightweight trailers. Walk up to the sidewalls. They're nice and laminated. But walk up to the rear wall of it and thump it. This is fully vacuum laminated. Do the same thing here on the sidewalls of a slide out and you're going to find, especially on lightweights, it's extremely uncommon they laminate that. If it's not laminated, it is not as strong structurally. It does not have the same level of insulation. Uh, it's just, it's not that there's anything wrong with a non-laminated wall, but it's not as good. There's good and then there's better. And that's what a Rockwood is. Anytime you, there's a question of good or better, you're always going to get better in a Rockwood. Like even your, your spare tire holder here, it's a ABS hard plastic cover. It's not just a sleeve that'll get torn up when you're whipping down the road. You know, the, the fully laminated structure is the reason this has a roof ladder on it, because this has a fully laminated roof, like a $90,000 fifth wheel, or even a lot of motorhomes. This has uh, one of the, the best, strongest roofs uh, you can imagine in the total RV segment. Fully enclosed uh, underbelly in the Signature Series, um, and big windows in the sides of the slide. Look at this right here. Uh, that's going to give you a lot of extra light, and every window on this does open for, uh, you know, viewing and cross-ventilation. Let's hop inside here real quick. What's this one here? 7,500 pounds as this one is built. Now, uh, let me turn on a couple lights here. The, um, speaking of which, LED light fixtures. These are all LED lights through the Rockwood. You don't have to spend time in a part shop swapping out bulbs or anything like that. Here, we'll, we'll crank a bunch of these on. There's probably a wall switch that I walked right past. Now that I'm doing this, I realize that, but hey, whatever. We get to take a tour of the RV. So let me back up and give you a shot of the living room here. Now, again, just a quick disclaimer. We're looking at the Toscana interior um, color scheme with cherry woodwork and stone print, or pardon me, wood print flooring. Um, all those things can change depending on what's in stock. We try to make the pictures match exactly what you're taking home though. So as we come in, Right away you see the countertop extension. The diamond package is upgrading us to the solid surface Corian, true Corian countertops with undermounted uh, American stone cast sinks. And that's something I like to point out. Uh, Rockwood RVs are one of the most American sourced lightweights out there. They get more parts built, made, sourced in America than just about anybody else. But the big extension is just that. It's super large. And notice that they make this countertop material match the actual countertop. So you don't have a cheap press board extension with sitting next to a very nice looking countertop. You don't run into that. Um, this has been upgraded to a freestanding hardwood table. Um, that is going to uh, give you a little more easy uh, access, comfortable place to sit. You see there is isn't an extension leaf here. There are little storage pockets under there. Um, and again, with the uh, big giant atrium size windows. I have these all closed for privacy right now, but these are extremely large, basically floor to ceiling windows. Um, your sofa is a, uh, a slide open memory foam sofa, not a fold open. Um, the advantage to go into the slide open variety is this. You keep storage below the sofa. With a flip open, you can't have that. So you have a 50 pound capacity extra drawer here and uh, that's perfect for like blankets and linens and things that you would probably need for this sofa anyway. The uh, 8325 is a rear entertainment model and uh, we've complemented that by upgrading the seating here to a full theater seat with individual recliner kickouts. And there is a little storage pocket right under here under the armrest. This is generally good for about anything, but it, it's perfect for stuff like your remote controls. Now, uh, again, the craftsmanship and the quality in the Rockwood is really beyond compare in a lightweight unit. You might find some manufacturers that do some of what I've shown you in this video. You're going to be very hard pressed to find anyone that does everything I've shown in this video. Your uh, DVD system here is also, uh, I mean, it's your stereo, it's your DVD, it's everything. 
It's Bluetooth enabled. Um, that's what this button is up here. You can uh, hook your phone up to it wirelessly. It even has high definition um, video inputs. Uh, what I do like is they leave you easy access over here. If you want to add in like a satellite brain, you can easily access your spots to do that and they leave you a shelf to do it. A lot of, especially in fifth wheels, it's funny, they, they, they build it with satellite prep, but nowhere to actually set the satellite unit. And when you're ready, you simply hit that button and the TV pops right up. And this is a 40 inch Toshiba. This is not an off-brand anything. They don't use um, off-brand anything in Rockwoods. Um, your fireplace here, that is a, I think it's a 5100 BTU, 51 or 55, I can't remember which. Uh, but that's an electric space heater basically. So whenever you're plugged into park power, you can take the chill out of the living room without even burning up your propane. How cool is that? I love that wood plank floor. Some people say they don't like it. I like wood tones. I think wood tones are very warm and personable. And again, big, big windows on the sides of the slides and every window in this will open for cross ventilation. Um, moving forward here, uh, the What's, what's really interesting is how they set up the um, refrigerator and pantry space here. They kind of split the pantry a little bit between a pantry in the kitchen and a linen cabinet in the bathroom. But one thing I want to point out is this refrigerator looks like every other refrigerator you see in a camper. However, it is larger. This is a seven cubic foot refrigerator freezer, not a six. It's 17% larger. These little retro style handles, that's the dead giveaway. So if you ever see those, there's a really good chance that you're looking at the bigger refrigerator. But so you do have good pantry space here in the kitchen, right next to your control center. That's where you can keep track of all your bells and buttons and switches and all that. Now your air conditioner, we will generally upgrade to a 15,000 instead of a 13.5. And almost any time we have the opportunity, it's very rare we have one here otherwise. In English, that means 50% more air capacity. And I was talking about roof structure earlier. Triple dog dare you to do that to another lightweight trailer. And after you pop the ceiling panel right out of it, apologize to the salesman and run like crazy. Um, the bedroom up here is feels not well it is exceptionally large for a travel trailer with a full bed slide out and this is a true queen bed an 80 inch bed but it does have room to put a king in there if you want to that's a really slick part about these they build it with that kind of option uh, the windows and the sides of the slide of the bed slide do open and that front window here that's where you're really going to love it is all the extra light and the floor space that you get in here um, what's nice is they do give you a handy little uh handle here to lift the bed up and this is a good way to see how something like this is built everything is aluminum framed um, you know your roof your floor your walls everything even under the bed and look at the storage solutions that they offer you here in rockwood be so that you don't have to lift that bed up they leave you a couple pull out drawers but again back to construction wherever they do have to screw into the aluminum they'll actually stuff it with wood just to really give the screw something to bite into it's awesome um the bed here this is a Serta mattress, just like you'd have at home. If you look real close, you can actually see the emblem right there. Uh, again, everything is designed to be very residential for things like that. Uh, huge amount of storage in the bedroom here, which is something you just normally don't get in a travel trailer. Uh, you see you've got a big giant wardrobe there. And what's cool is they put the dresser right below the wardrobe, which creates an extra shelf right here, right at waist level, right where you want it. That's right where you need a shelf to be. Again, the bedroom TV that uh, you can get as an option, which we will generally put in most of these, but again, I say always double check. Uh, it mounts right here on this swing arm so you can make it face the bedroom when you want. And again, the TV just lifts off, mounts outside, and you're good to go. Now, uh, the bathroom is also pretty nice. It's right over here. We have a standing fifth wheel shower, not a travel trailer tub. And this is one of the areas I like to point out that Rockwoods have a domed headliner. You see how it grows taller as we go through here. That's gonna give tall people like me the room to stand up in there instead of crouch. Um, we have a full Creative Breeze fan with the Max Air fan roof cover built right onto it from the factory. In lightweights, there's basically no one else, that, well, not even in lightweights, in almost any segment of the Toll RV industry, virtually nobody adds those covers from the factory. That saves you 50 bucks a pop and a lot of grief having those on there. They let you keep the vent open when it's raining. Now, it's the detail work like this that I love in Rockwoods. If you're not paying attention and you fling this door open, it would smack that cabinet. But they put a little rubber stopper right there, so that's not going to happen. You're not going to ding up your cabinetry, and they do leave you a nice little linen cabinet down here. Um... Oh, here's another little detail-oriented thing that I spotted I really like. They have not just a door stopper here, but 
a magnetic clip door stopper. It will hold the door shut for you. How? I mean, because the, if I let go of this, the trailer, you see, it's not level. It's swinging the door open. There you go. Now you don't have to worry about it. And that's the kind of detail stuff you get in a Rockwood. That's why they're the number one seller and have been for many years. So give us a call. 800-256-5196. Halo RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Thank you, everybody. Take care. Stay safe. Happy camp.